So in 2025, how do we treat varicose veins? Varicose veins used to be treated with surgery, but nowadays it's really, really rare. And most treatments are done in the office with local anesthesia. You go home right away and there's minimal recovery time from it. Essentially, varicose veins are caused by a dysfunction of the valves. And that causes the blood to reflux down the leg and pull in the varicose veins, causing them to dilate over time. Initially, we have to identify which ones are the leaky veins. And this is done by a comprehensive villus reflux ultrasound. It's just an ultrasound study, but it usually takes half an hour to 45 minutes to identify all the veins in one leg and see which ones are leaking and which ones are not. But once we identify the vein, there are several ways that we can close them. We have glue, we have heat, which is called radiofrequency ablation, and we have a special foam called varitina that if injected in the veins, can close them as well. It will certainly depend on the anatomy of your veins and the findings on the ultrasound and what we're trying to accomplish, as well as the size of the veins that are reflexing. But it will also depend on your insurance as different insurances sometimes have different rules regarding varicose veins. The foam treatment with varitina is probably the quickest and easiest, but is a little bit less effective than the other ones and can also cause inflammation of those veins, which can be painful sometimes, especially in certain areas. It also requires the use of compression stockings for one to two weeks, and some insurances just don't cover it. The glue, also called Venaseal, is also a quick procedure, can be done in the office in 15-20 minutes, and it's very effective, but some patients can develop an allergic reaction to the glue and the vein can get red and painful. That can be bothersome to the patient. The advantage of the Vena series does not require compression stockings and patients can usually go back to their normal activities immediately. The radiofrequency ablation is probably the most tested therapy and has been used for several years and it works great. But it requires administration of what's called tomasin anesthesia, which is similar to what plastic surgeons use when they do, for example, a liposuction or something like that. We inject almost a cup of fluid containing lidocaine and a little bit of epinephrine uh, that will numb the area and also cool the vein around it so the heat energy doesn't damage the skin or nerves around it. In summary, there are multiple minimally invasive options to pit varicose veins. If you have more questions, feel free to look at our website. It has plenty of more information. This is Minimally Invasive Insight, and I'll see you next time.